Hey folks, a uh, brand new place to go create a group. So I said last video that I wasn't sure where they hit it, but I did find it. So let me show you how to do that. We talked about benefits of creating your group. Know that it's a great way to become a thought leader. You create the group, you get people to join your group, have conversations going, but it is work. So make sure there isn't another group out there that might benefit you more than starting your own. How you create your very own group with the new look and feel of groups is you'll do the little drop down right there next to groups. It'll open up. You'll see the groups that you belong to. You can search for groups, but at the very bottom it says create group. You'll click on that and you will end up creating your very own group. So let's go over to LinkedIn and I'll show you this. Um, as I mentioned, we can just go to interests and groups and that's what you will see the screen we were just on looks a lot different than it did. It's going to serve up today's highlights from your groups, etc. But if you want to create your own group, you'll go to the little drop down right there and the groups that you belong and then create group. You'll click on that. Again, anybody can create a group. It will be private. You'll want a logo for it, a summary, etc. Um, the group can be unlisted, which means only the members will be able to be in it. It won't be searchable. An unlisted group is really, really good for an internal group at a company or something like that. But most groups you want to make searchable on LinkedIn. So that's your short video tip for today. If you um, have any questions on that or want to get a hold of me, the easiest way is to just shoot me an email at sroth at shellyroth.com. And don't forget, I have a brand new book out there. Go to shellyroth.com if you want to check out my new book, Give to Grow. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.